Hey guys, welcome back. This is the final game of the season against Freiburg. If we have a look at the Bundesliga table, well, you can see there we are comfortably sitting in four spot. We've got ourselves a spot in the Champions League. It is in the playoffs, but nevertheless, it's very close to it. Well, we've got at least that Europa League spot. The possibility of getting that Champions League TV money will be absolutely amazing for the club. Um... Well, what we've got here is um, a comfortable game against Freiburg. They are battling to get into that 16th position, which is obviously the relegation playoff. Um, we have got ourselves comfortable results, so I'm hoping the players don't become out a little bit complacent. I uh, hope that they maintain their head and to get the win. Um, not that we really need it, but it'd be comfortable just to finish off the season positively. And, well, let's have a look at what's happened since we last met. That uh, Domino Kiev, fantastic result. We came back with the uh, Rebel Leipzig, completely rotated side. Um, actually, no, that wasn't. Was it? It was it. Oh, no, that was the. Yeah. That was a disappointing one all draw away at Leipzig. Uh, we played... Then we played uh, Hoffenheim, 2-1 win. Then we had our two games against Manchester United. Well, you can tell, it's obvious that we're going to get smashed away from home. I was actually just happy to get that goal, really. Um, they absolutely destroyed us in this game. And, well, it kind of went on to the next game where we... This is the game we had a completely rotated side in. Um, uh, Igor Stad Igor Stad uh, 1, 4, 3 and well it was good to see some of the youngsters getting some goals Mjol, Bergray with the goal and Tillman with the 2 and then we had the game at home against Manchester United and well it was a pretty good result really um, we lost 2-0 and um, Freya with a very good game and Serta a good game 7.0 against a big club like Manchester United was a good result um, then we had a win against Colm at home for last home game of the season and Uto breaking the record for the most goals for Mines in a season uh, picking up his 21st of the season Um, yeah, we come in today's game against Freiburg in well, decent form, if you can just excuse the rotated side in the game against Manchester United. Um, you can see here in the league, other than those th that result, we haven't lost since Augsburg in March. So, I'm happy with the form. We've got ourselves a Champions League playoff round uh, position, and, well... I think this is the formation we go with for at least next season while we try and develop a second striker uh, to play alongside Muto, which would fit into this formation here. But for the time being, this is the formation we're going with Muto up top with our group of very good young midfielders, um, especially for, for the likes of uh, Havert, Havertz, uh, Frail still not too old, 28. Stuart Sadar, 20 year old Turkish Inton. He hasn't got a cup yet, but I expect him to get one in the next few years as he plays continuous game time here in the Bundesliga. Um, certainly one of my preferred players in the middle of the pitch there. Uh, De Blas, I'm trying to get him to really play that. Uh, well, he's prefer it's the tech track of Tista role. We wanted to play as an advanced playmaker. Um, track of Tista, maybe he could do that. We'll see. Um, and Quaison, 23 year old Swedish international. Um, hopefully, he's happy to stick around now, uh, coming back from that big injury. Um, oh, yes, Frail, Frail wanted to go to Lyon as they are in the Champions League. Now that we've got ourselves in the Champions League, he's happy to stay. He's on 25000 a week. And one of our big earners uh, might try and extend his 
contract if he performs well next season. Um, so yeah, Duplice, uh, Duplassus, trying to get him to manage that role because he has only got one year on his contract. Um, maybe try and get him, play him a lot more, see if he maybe stay, hang around. Um, if not, if you get five million for him, the Argentinian can go. Um, yeah, as we don't really play wingers anymore. Um, so yeah, that's the lineup. Play from and in goal. The youngsters coming on in leaps and bounds, up to two and a half stars. Still got that five star potential, and I'm hoping that, well, long term, we can stick around and develop nicely and become our first team keeper for 10 years, 10 15 years to come time, and really uh, develop that spot so that well, when the youngsters come in, we've got a better idea of how good they are. Um, so let's get into the game. Um, this is the line I'm going to go with. I remember he's finally gone over his hissy fit about the um, striker position. Um, yeah, so the, well, the squad's a little bit more happier overall. And uh, Ebert Green will come in for so He's coming back from that little knock that he got. Um, you can see here that I have shortened the squad, basically just filtered out the players that aren't at the club. Uh, I've got rid of them, um, getting rid of those three players, and you can see their squad's much much more comfortable. Um, I don't like to have a huge squad because, well, the bigger squad, the more players that are going to be arguing about their position. Uh, actually, I'll give Kabamba the spot, because um, is not quite... Uh, up to top tip condition, and we'll get into today's game. Uh, yeah, he's lacking, but I won't get him. Um, I don't think it's too bad. It's just a normal game. Uh, coming into summer, start a little bit more like it. Uh, we're playing with a natural 4 4 2. Hopefully, we can break down the. Uh, uh, oops, I made a mistake. Um, break down the center of the pitch. They can have the wide areas if they want, but. And really, um, those yellow cards certainly have dropped off since I stopped tackling these wingers and fullbacks hard. So, everything's starting to um, um, starting to become much more comfortable with the tactic. It's right close on. Place it. Um, pitch is in fantastic shape. Um, starting to develop a tactic that I think I'm, the squad's comfortable with. Um, starting to get some good performances. Uh, just start developing these youngsters and then the next couple of years start pushing forward. A good tackle there by Havertz and start challenging uh, Bayern Munich for the Bundesliga title. Um, but, oh, Bell should have scored. Um, he had the keeper been there. Keeper came out, expected to take the easy ball as it was played in. But Bell just beat him to it and hit the crossbar. Um, Oh, I wonder why he didn't go for that ball. Was that uh, Donati? Or was it Bro? bro, bro. Um, oh, and Nurchella. That's the guy. That's our player, isn't he? Yeah, his first goal of the season. What's he been doing all year? No, yeah. Uh, something that I guess the German would find very easily to pronounce. Oh, yes, the kits. Like I said, got the three kits in. And, oh, he's. Just leaped like a salmon and just pounced on that ball. Uh, Muto's not having a great game. I believe we can place it. I might try to take him off at half time if he doesn't pick up his game. Um, oh, boy. Uh, not playing very well. So I'm just going to tear him a new one. And most of them responded well. Um, 
me a cake for looks happy. Hopefully he can pick up his game in the next 15 minutes, and if he doesn't, I'll give the big green man a start. I'll bring him on uh, centre-back. That's another position, centre-back. Uh, Bussman, can he get a cross in? He's just floating it around. Fry, and uh, well, it's a deflected goal. Takes a little bit of shine off the result when you know that uh, you scored from a ball that is missed a target. Um, it was a missed tackle there, and well, that's gone well wide. Uh, but did get that deflection of Guinta, and it goes into the back of the net. And Bell, back post. Oh, not quite. And Bro is on a yellow. Bro might have to come off um, at some stage just to ensure he doesn't get a red card. And this is the start of the season. Sierra running forward. France. This right hand side looking for that cross in. Philip it doesn't quite get in there. Oh no. Uh, put that down to the weather. The fact that Froman wasn't able to get back into the goal. Probably should have had a little bit more trust in his centre backs. Oh no, he's just run past the ball. And well. Loud fronts. The opportunity to score from the tight angle with well, no one to beat. And well. Mutol, after running about him, he's going to have to come off. And big Berg Green, come on. And how are you capable? He's not going to respond because there's only 10 minutes to go and he knows that he's just there for a little bit of a bit of game time, just to ensure that he gets a little bit of development. Uh, Galamba, come on. And we bring the centre. Um, yeah, it's a disappointing result. I guess they're just a bit complacent. I mean, they've got nothing to play for, and well, Freiburg have got everything to play for, and good on them for um, coming out and just doing what they can. But it's to no avail as Augsburg beat Augustad 2 1, and Freiburg going to be relegated. Which is interesting because, well, we've got a, that good striker that scored and, oh, 47 million pounds. That's what I was talking about. Uh, the big Bundesliga money. Um, Joel Richard de Blasis. I'm hoping that he can uh, stick around, praise his conduct, and proud, try and get him to sign a new contract. He's not happy with the, with the club. And hopefully uh, no one is interested and I'll see if um, he can stick around and play well next season and maybe, just maybe, he'll damn bro. Um sign a new contract and be that strong little player in the centre of the pitch. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the end of this episode. I'll come back and um, I'll I'll come back and do end of the season review. Just have a look at the players, have a look at the new players, and have a look at the targets for the summer. I can see 94% for uh, end of season team meeting. Well, the game the basis will be that we'll, we'll cha challenge for the Champions League spot, and they are very happy with that. And just start pushing forward in the next few years, just maintain that Champions League position. And we'll have a look at the injuries. I don't know how you can miss 124% of games a season. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I assume that's because he missed last season as well. But you can't miss 124% this season. It's just not possible. Um, because we're not going to yeah, make any transfers. Four weeks is enough. Give the players a little extra rest. 
And, well, that's going to be about it. If you enjoy this episode... Oh, yes, we've purchased the stadium. Oh, it's only got another 2,000. Uh, cool. Good. That's already happening. Right. Um, yeah, that's just the usual. They're just maybe just expanding it a little bit more. Uh, 15 million in the transfer kitty, 500,000. Um, so we'll bring in another five or six good youngsters. I've already got a few more coming in. One from America since we last discussed it. Um, I think that's about it. If we just have a quick look at squad depth, you'll see there. Good depth. No real standout players apart from Kai Havertz, who won the German uh, under 17 player of the season. Uh, brought him in for 12 million, already worth 17. Um, and if we just have a look here at the board, ah, they've changed. Well, he's, six, he's just turned 17. Give him a break. Um, he's got two years to really show in. You can see his development. Not great, but... Um, you can understand that he's a little bit too far, too early to really judge that uh, transfer. If you have a look at the transfers, happy with the loan out of ball, happy with the transfer of Tillman. Um, still happy with the loan out. No, he wasn't going to get to game time. Not happy with some of the wingers. Not happy with the centre back, the striker, Jero. Happy with the line, uh, loan out of Devante Parker. That transfer uh, wasn't going to be in the game. Arnie Meyer, who they criticised earlier, they're happy with him coming in. Certainly happy with Froman and Herzer, who we saw they weren't happy with the transfer of. Uh, Hack, they weren't happy with his loan out, but yeah, well, he'll come back next season. Quite a little player. Um, just a, maybe, maybe that was a little bit of an issue there. He didn't have much at the back in terms of depth. Wears it for some of the games, uh, but next season, um, well, looking to step up and maybe not lose so many of those little games and really push, uh, certainly push um, Dortmund and Leverkusen for that second or third position, eight points off that. But happy with us to be six points clear of Schalke, and well, that's the table. If you enjoyed this episode, do leave a like. Till next time, I've been James. You've been great. Thanks for watching. Don't miss it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to ensure you get more football manager from myself. Uh, goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the end of season review.